I've been to a lot of concerts and I've yeah. been screaming and shouting a lot. So both is great, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, well, I do hope that that answers your question, Timo, does it? <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for calling in. Goodbye. <coughs> well, he was kind of energetic, right? <laughs> well, yeah, he was. So guys, you mentioned before that, um, sorry. You, you guys mentioned before that you guys actually really start, started playing guitar at a really, really young age, right? And it was hard for you guys to get the music out there before. But now, the Singaporeans are actually more, um, not, not as bad as before, and they now kind of really accept all your music and all local talents as well, is correct? Yeah. So, um, there are, I mean, like, that's really true, because, like, before that, I, I'm very, I'm a very kind of international person. So, like, I've been, I'll listen to a lot of international music and stuff like that. But nowadays, I've been listening to more of local music, like Scarlet Avenue and Sam Willows. And, yeah, I, you guys are actually really doing very well. Thank you. So, um, you, actually, both you and your brothers have very different music tastes, right? One is very pop rockish, the other one's very ballad, melody kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, Adam is the emo guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, he likes to sit on bed and listen to slow songs, but uh, he loves blues a lot. Yeah, I like blues, you know, uh, indie, indie pop, indie rock, uh, reggae, to some reggae, <laughs> some, some jazz, yeah. and yeah, and class, classic rock and hard rock as well, so pretty okay. much everything. But both of you, because you guys are in a band, but how do you guys pick what kind of, or write, like how do you guys know what songs that you guys are going to write? Like, because both of you have very different genres of music. Like well, I think um, having having uh, the foundations and uh, the music that we listen to, sometimes when we write the song, we, we don't really decide on what genre we want. Yeah, we just... We just write it on a piece of paper, pick up the guitar and play, and then we make music from there. And whatever sound comes up from that will be... Yeah, but of course, um, we, we, we will have directions for yeah, the song. Yeah, we have influences. And yeah, and so um, I think kind of all the influences help um, us make the song better. I see. Um, but just one more question for you guys, because th there are a lot of people out there right now in Singapore that are aspiring to be like you guys, really big, famous um, local musicians. But is, is there anything that you actually would like to say to them? Um, just keep following your dream. Don't give up on your passion because passion yeah. trumps. Trumps. <laughs> trumps. Trumps. <laughs> trumps common sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So just uh, you know, those songs you write in your bedroom, just. Uh, don't be afraid to, to play it out and the way you perform in the bathroom is the way you should perform outside. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> people want to see that. <laughs> Alright. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have with Scarlet Avenue for today. For the past 12 minutes, we've talked to Amos and Adam about their rise to stardom and he, they, both, they both shared with us very interesting information about their journeys to success. Both of them talked about how difficult it was for them to get into the music industry and how Singapore is actually like Bef they are not like before that Singapore is actually a very they don't really listen to local music as much as they do now and they are very happy that they are 